Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy and you've been there before. You, you ate some Taco Bell, you get into the bathroom and you realize it's going to be a disaster. But have no fear, because today we're going to design a toilet that can handle anything you throw at it. So let's go ahead and start out by building a nice little... Now, now a toilet is made of porcelain generally, but we're going to use ceramic because that's probably the closest we can get in the powder toy and a lot of you make fun of me for being terrible at art in this game so I'll try to make it not look too terrible okay try to make it not too awful all right so we got our we got our toilet we got you know a hole here now toilets actually have some pretty cool physics behind how they work which we cannot really simulate here but we'll, we'll do our best to make it look kind of kind of like a toilet uh then there's a little rubber bit which we'll make out of wood <laughs> wood i guess that works and then there's a little chain that hangs down which we'll make out of uh not iron iron will corrode uh titanium yes titanium is a completely reasonable thing all right and then I'm gonna have to leave dots here, but this is the chain kind of connecting to the bar on the side. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can just make a really, a really casual toilet device here. Uh, it has one very simple goal, which is to take the, the liquid from the top and then uh, shove it out, shove, shove it into the septic system. The only issue is that we can't really simulate true fluid dynamics. So like the thing that causes the, the suction that pulls the water around in non-normal directions in a toilet. If you've ever seen how it actually works, it's a little bit counterintuitive. It's got a it's got a loop in it that kind of prevents gases from the sewage system going up and killing you. We're not going to bother with that. Um, and actually, we're going to have to move this entire thing up because in the powder toy, I'm not going to be able to get it to go up any loops. Uh, it might work with water equalization, but I don't think so. I don't think it's that advanced. And even if it was, it would be horrifically laggy. So here's what we'll do. We will uh, we'll raise this and then we will cut a hole through here. All right. All right, that works. So then we're gonna go ahead and get a clone and the water will come in from here. And then we should have, yay, a toilet. Granted, a real toilet would also have water coming out of the front. So what we'll do is we'll put a pixel portal in here. Yes, most toilets do in fact contain portals. Fun fact, you guys just don't know about it because you're not cool enough to know about it. Uh, how do I reduce the amount of... Now it's really uneven, like all of the water is going into the portal. All right, that seems to have improved the situation. All right, toilet is even. Let's pull a little toilet seat here as well. Someone left the toilet seat up. How sad. All right, this is a, this isn't a terrible toilet design, but we said that we were going to be making a toilet that can handle Taco Bell. And I think the only thing we can really use to simulate this is thermite. So let's go ahead and see if our toilet can handle thermite. All right. Thermite burns at, what, over 3,000 degrees in this game, so we're gonna go slow motion and see what kind of, what kind of damage we have when the thermite impacts the toilet surface. Um, so the water is evaporating very quickly, and the thermite is hitting the ceramic, and... Actually... You know what? I'm gonna be honest. That was not terrible, but this isn't the best experience. I mean, you really, if you're sitting on the toilet, you don't want this like superheated steam to fly up and hit your butt. That would be rather uncomfortable. So let's see if there's a way to fix that. 
Uh, what we can do is we can chill the water. We can chill the water beforehand, which should help a little bit. I'm thinking a little bit of freeze powder lining the bottom of the toilet here. Um, we could also, whoops, I meant to get, oh, that's too much. You see that the water is now freezing inside of the toilet. That's a problem. Um, we need a way to balance this. We need, we need a good way to balance this. We could also increase the quantity of water. I mean, sure, your water bill will go up, but at the same time, it's worth it to save the world. Doubling the quantity of water has certainly... All right, we'll create a little septic tank down here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some titanium to be the metal, and we'll just build a septic tank. There we go. All right. People ask me why I build the things I build. And the reason, it's for humanity. We're saving the world here. All right, now we got a nice little septic tank. I think, uh, I think everything's gonna be great now. We've got the situation under control. Why can't I do anything under, huh, huh. I could have sworn I could go lower than that before. That's fine though. The bottom of the septic tank's a little bit, a little bit thin, but that's all right. We're also gonna save this toilet. All right, great. So now, now we need to start asking ourselves how can we improve the experience of the toilet. Um, how can we make it better handle? Now, one thing, one thing we could do is we could create a sort of a backsplash protection system. Oh yeah, no, I like that. So like on the part you sit on, oh, this'll be great. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put freeze powder into the toilet seat because the water won't touch that unless it's steam. Now you may be wondering, well, that would be incredibly uncomfortable. So what we'll do is we'll put a layer of insulation on top so that your butt won't touch. Yeah? Yeah? Here we go. Here we go. This seat is over-engineered, and that's how we like it on this channel. The over-engineered toilet seat. All right. So this will cool down the steam from the thermite before it reaches your body. The only issue is that we need a hole in order to drop the thermite in, but that's fine. We can hit, oh, this is an issue. Uh, this got a little bit too close. Uh, we'll just cut it off here. I think this should be fine. Come on. There we go, okay. All right, let's see what happens if we go ahead and do the thermite test now. Go ahead and save it real quick. Don't wanna lose our precious progress. We're changing the world in here. Um, yeah, all right, let's go ahead and see what happens if we add some thermite. All right, same thing as before, but look at that, look at that. The, the quantity of steam coming out has been reduced a little bit as some of the steam is actually being turned back into water. Uh, the toilet seat did get a little bit damaged by the thermite. But the actual uh, sewage system did not. So that's important to remember. That's very important to remember. Uh, for simulation purposes, we'll go ahead and we'll put some oil into here to simulate the highly explosive materials inside of a septic tank. Uh, let's go ahead and see if those get annoyed by the... Yeah, that, that, was, that was a little bit dramatic, but really the... The thermite should be all the way up here. So let's go ahead and see what happens if the thermite hits. Will it set off the septic tank? Um, no, 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 no. There's plenty of space. There's plenty of space for this to, for this to uh, separate out from the septic tank. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if instead of thermite, we throw some nitroglycerin into there. Like, there we go. This may actually be a better simulation anyways. Oh, you see, that that's an issue. I mean, 
sure, if you waited a second before it combusted, it's probably less bad. But that whole that whole the fire going up at you out of the toilet is a little bit concerning. You know, you see the smoke coming out of the toilet and you're like, oh geez, this is a problem. It looks like the freeze powder leaked out of the seat and got into the septic tank, and now the septic tank is frozen. Um, and now everything is freezing because the freeze powder got out. Everything is freezing. I think the entire the entire toilet system is going to be frozen in a few moments. I think the only way that we can solve this problem is to drop a match into the septic tank. So, uh, without further ado, I will drop a match into the septic tank. We don't suggest doing this in real life. It doesn't usually end well. All right, let's close this. Oh, it didn't, it didn't. Oh, the oil is so cold. The oil's at negative 250 degrees. There we go. Okay, now it's burning. Okay, okay, the nitroglycerin went off. Oh, will the, will the gas and heat actually make it? Uh, I cannot believe this. Well, how is the freeze powder replicating like that? How is there so much of it? What? Yeah, let's refresh this. That's not freeze powder coming out, is it? No. Huh. I don't know what happened there. That was very interesting. Let's try this again. Put some nitroglycerin in. Oh, I put a little bit too much. A little bit too much. There's some good flow on this toilet, though. Not gonna lie. Some good flow. It can handle a whole lot of nitroglycerin. Yeah, when I put the nitroglycerin... Oh, does nitroglycerin mix with water to make freeze powder? You know, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and test this. I think we've discovered a chemical reaction in the powder toy. No. What? What is going on? Why is my toilet doing this? Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's give it a slightly harder task. Let's go ahead and see if you were to uh, need to get rid of some deuterium. Sometimes you drink some deuterium, it goes right through you. Let's see what happens. But why is the deuterium freezing into freeze? What is going on? How is the freeze powder duplicating itself like this? There's no clone touching any freeze powder, as far as I'm aware. Okay, we'll do it down here. I'm getting very concerned by just... The, the freeze powder just keeps appearing out of nowhere. Alright. We're, we're filling her up. Uh, first, let's see how a neutron uh, situation would go down. Alright. All right, so like at this point, you'd probably hear the septic tank and get worried. At this point, you'd feel a little bit of warmth coming out from under the ground and that... Oh! Oh, the toilet survived a nuclear blast! You know, I expected a lot of things, but I didn't expect the toilet to survive a nuclear blast. I mean, the septic system got absolutely hammered, but the toilet itself is actually nice and frosty. All right. Let's go ahead and see if there's a proton situation. You see, the issue is that protons... Protons pass through all of this, so we're gonna have to use some insulation to actually uh, make this interesting. Have no fear, Insulation Man is here. In insulation Man, you may say? Is that is that a superhero? Now he is. Everyone clap for Insulation Man. Let me know in the comments below how Insulation Man improved your life. It's probably a good idea to insulate the septic tank anyways, just in case it gets really hot outside, you know. You know. All right, let's go ahead and pop a proton in here. Oh, now we got three. Is it gonna go critical? I, I think it may not. Let's try a few more. 
I mean, they're definitely... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so they... They're, they're not reacting nearly as fast as the... Uh, as the neutrons did, but we've actually created a basically infinite and stable supply of power, actually. Let's go ahead and add a little cooling tower to the back of this. Um, because I think I think that we have just done something significant. Our our toilet system is now capable of generating infinite electricity. As long as you just keep using the toilet. We've got the means got the means to turn this into a power plant the toilet generation facility i will name it the tgf all we have to do is open this bad boy up a little bit now we have to worry about the protons leaking, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some insulation and we're just gonna, we're gonna make it so that like every other pixel is insulation. So there's a 50% chance that we will block the proton trying to escape and we'll make it even harder. We'll make a lattice. A gas should be able to make it through the lattice pretty easily, but a proton would almost certainly hit one of these pixels and be deflected back the way it came. All right, very good. See, this is the kind of innovation you can expect on my channel. Oh, look at the amount of energy coming out of that bad boy. What, oh wow, okay, okay, one moment. We gotta, we gotta harness, we have to harness the power. Get some uh, power lines coming out of here. Truly shocking how how capable. All right, ready. Wood. Gotta have our telephone pole. There we go. All right, once that we're we're gonna we're gonna clean this up a little bit. Septic tank should be under the ground. Yep. Here's some ground. This may actually be one of the best looking builds I've ever made in this game. And that's kind of sad considering it's a toilet generator. But at the same time, you have to consider that we have to generate power somehow. And I'm pretty sure Bill Gates actually uh, invested in building something very similar in Africa. A bunch of toilets that burned off their uh, waste products to generate electricity. So, basically, Bill Gates, if you're interested in my design, I made it nuclear, which is cooler, so hit me up. Uh, but in the meantime, look at this! Look at this! I mean, th this is, this is clearly... I, I'm going I'm going to publish this and we're going to see how the powder toy community responds uh, This is pretty much literally a shit post, but um it, it does it does work doesn't it? You know as, as long as there's a supply of deuterium Which everyone everyone pees out deuterium so we can be certain it'll be fine. I mean this this is going to work I mean, the protons seem to be pretty... St oh, it's freezing again! It's freezing again! Darn it! <laughs> Every once in a while, it has a few issues. But the, the few protons in there are actually doing a very good job. And they aren't, they aren't dying. They aren't running out. They're staying pretty stable. The only issue is we've run out of water and the water all froze. So let's go ahead and get rid of the toilet seat. We'll pull this toilet seat up so that we can get some water again. Uh, the lack of water is causing it to heat up a little bit. That's getting a little bit concerning, and we just went critical. Uh, the nuclear the nuclear toilet facility has just gone critical. A little bit unfortunate. There is slight damage to the surrounding environment, but I mean, just as much damage could have been done by Taco Bell, honestly, so. 
at the end of the day, let's be real. I should probably also just put a thing here that prevents gas or prevents non-gases. Just like a gas only wall here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So that we don't get rid of all of our deuterium accidentally. All right, I, I think I think this is pretty good now. These these protons are just endlessly plopping back and forth. We're getting some heat action inside of the septic tank, and look at that! We're generating power again. V2, V2's looking good. V2's looking really good. Look at all the grass that's growing because of all the water. Well, the deuterium is it helping it grow, but the water is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, some good production. Some good production's going now. Oh yeah. I, I, am, I am incredibly impressed by the fact that this is working as well as it's working. This is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> it's one of my it's one of my greatest creations. All right. Guys, we'll come back around to this if you want me to do more with it, but thank you all for watching. This is truly a beautiful creation, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, and just remember if you want to build awesome things with me and or give me suggestions, you should go over to V A L O U R dot gg valor is my in that i built it and i'm building it and i'm leading a team to build it the team members are awesome you should give them a thumbs up for being awesome social media platform for like gamers and people who don't want to have their data stolen and harvested by other companies we're an open source social media platform that allows you to build communities and you should go check us out Bye! I hope you learned a lot today.